So this question provides us with this function here. Um, I notice that I have a variable in the exponent here, this x. And anytime I see a variable in the exponent of a function on the digital SAT, I always ask myself, well, what would happen if that variable were zero? What would happen if that exponent effect were zero? Um, for us, if this were zero, I'd have 0.64 to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is just one. Then I'd have 5,470 times one, which means f of zero, whatever x represents, right, is going to equal my 5,470. Let's see how useful that is to my understanding of this question. The question says the function f gives the value in dollars of a certain piece of equipment after x months of use. Okay, well now I understand how to interpret this. This is telling me that the value of the equipment was $5,470 when you bought it, right, before any use, any months of use, right, which is reflected here in x equals zero. So the value of the equipment started off as $5,470. The next sentence here says, if the value of the equipment decreases each year by p percent of its value the preceding year, what is the value of p? Okay, well, I only have one place to look for information. And the one place that I have to look is in the equation or the function itself. I've already dealt with the reason why 5,470 is here. That's there because that's the original value. The question has already told me why this x over 12 is here, Most, more specifically why the x is there. That's the number of months, right? So the only thing that we haven't provided information regarding is this 0.64. And what is this 0.64? Well, 0 0.64 is the decimal form of 64%. So 64%, right? So this is telling me that every year, right? When, when I have 12 months here, that becomes one year. When this gets out to 24 months, that becomes two years and so on. And we have all these increments in between, 13 months, 14 months, 15 months, all these increments in between these values, six months, five months. Um, but the 0.64 is telling me that after a year at least, or after, right, if this were just one, that my original 5470 price is going to be decreased. It's only now going to be 64% of that original price. Well, the question isn't asking what the new value is, what percentage of the old value is a new value. It's saying what is the percentage decrease, right? So the answer will not be 64% because the percent decrease is asking, well, if you started out with 100% of your original price, and then you end up after a year with 64% of your original price, then how much did you decrease? Well, this decrease is 36%. So that's the amount that you decrease, which means my P value here must be equal to 36. And therefore, the correct answer here must be choice C.